Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Sucks at Enter the Gungeon, but hopefully sucks a little less than he did last time, but there's gonna be bumps in the road, but an overall positive trajectory would be good. We're gonna be playing as John Cena's the Marine tonight, because, uh... It was... He starts you with the most HP, which I think is good for us. Honestly, we kinda just got shit on by, um... Not even the Gorgon. We're doing what Gorgonites do best! We're hiding! No, we, we got shit on by uh, King Bullet, which is a little embarrassing considering that's, you know, a level one or a world one enemy. So, we're definitely going to be trying to do a little bit better this time. I need to do better with the Hunter, but maybe, think of it this way. Let's put it in Isaac terms for those of you who are familiar. If you're not, which is, is weird for me to say given that that's like 20% of my channel, but maybe you're here just because you love Gungeon and that's cool too. Oh, definitely open this. That is the Demon Head. It spits a beam of fire. That's a boss item. We're gonna save that for bosses, I think, for now. Oh, nice dodge, nice dodge. Um, but there's a character in the Binding of Isaac called Judas. He starts with really, really low HP, but he has good damage. Uh, well, effectively good damage associated with him. So, um, he's, he's kind of a high skill character, but once you get to the point where you can actually, you know, use him confidently without too much fear that you'll actually die, um, he's, he's a beautiful baby boy, the likes of which the world has never seen before. He's so pure. Um, but maybe the hunter's like that, you know, maybe the crossbow is just a little bit too much power to be in- Ah, oh, that was so bad of me. Dodge rolled in the wrong direction. Maybe it's too much power for me to be entrusted with in the early game. This might be our next item room right here. No, it's not. Roll an explosive barrel into another explosive barrel. Good dodge. It's really like, if it's not obvious, it probably is obvious, but if it's not obvious, the direction of your dodge roll is also of critical importance. It's hard to get used to, but like, you don't want to dodge roll into the direction that the bullet is traveling. So you actually, like Dark Souls style, you want to dodge into the attack, which is still a hard habit to break when you're like, whoa, if I just back up, I get some more time. No, you don't get some more time. You come out of your iframes at, like, nearly exactly the same time you're gonna be hit. It's not gonna work out well for you, I promise. That being said, all we lost was our armor. Armor is effectively HP, but I feel better about it because we still have full hearts up there at the top, so I'd say that's a positive thing. I also feel like picking up Demon Head is, uh, a great get for us. Because it should make bosses easier. I've been kind of toying around with the idea, as you'll you'll know if you've been watching the earlier episodes, that uh, the ideal kind of boss item is a beam weapon. And I don't know if that's actually true, or if that's just my very limited and perhaps a little bit ignorant experience with the game. But I find that like sustained damage against bosses is awesome, and if it gives a if it grants a, a status effect as well, even better. And you know, Demon Head does grant burn, much in the same way the Gamma Ray from the last episode that we used, like, all of one time, uh, granted poison. So, I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to wrap our head around that. I feel like we're on the cusp of, of a good run. I don't know if it's gonna be this one, but I feel like we're on the cusp of not dying on level 3 for the first time. I certainly hope so. We got there in Isaac. We're gonna get there in Gungeon. It's just a matter of time before you get to shine. Party of Five theme song mp3 from napster.co.uk. Good stuff. Every key is very valuable. Gives us a much better chance to actually open chests. One thing I haven't thought about yet is like the key economy. Basically, I see a chest. If I have a key, I open it. If I finish the whole floor and have no keys, then I go buy myself a Nokia and I play Snake on it. But um, if I have no keys, then I shoot it as a last resort. And if I get anything out of it, then that's a huge positive. But um, it's possible that maybe if you come across just like a, a non-ornate looking chest, just your regular old ho-hum kind of chest, maybe you save your key and instead try to wait for like a really mythical demon chest or something. That being said, that's not what I'm doing here. Table Tech Rage. So we've already had this one once before. That means that when we flip over tables, we'll get a momentary damage boost. Uh, this, I think it showed up on our first run, which was actually a pretty decent synergy, as long as there's tables to be flipped. And that actually provided an opportunity right there to see how, uh, how much it actually buffs us, because, ooh, that was close. Uh, it only took us two hits to kill the normal bullet guys. Normally it takes three for this weapon anyway, so that's good. Table tech money. Wait, 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 wait. What's our current one? Table Tech Rage? Table Tech Rage. 
This ancient technology briefly increases damage whenever a table's flipped. I wonder if we can greatly increase or... Well, we're not going to see it anyway because we're about to leave the floor, but... That is interesting because it makes me think that sometimes when you flip tables, maybe there'll be a chance to be some money in there. This is... I think this is the Trigger Twins. Okay. We have both blanks. That's a bad habit. I should start using blanks a little bit more prodigiously. And this is where shit went off the rails for us last time. So let's try to endeavor to not let that happen this time. This damage is a little ridiculous. One of them is already like 80% dead. Oh my god, that was scary. Just get one kill. The other one will be like perma aggroed after that, but it's worth it, man. It's worth it. So we used 150 ammo there. Still, this is dope. This is going very well. And of course, we want to get through this without taking any HP damage so that we can get the HP upgrade. That went so well. We did use half of our ammo for that, but look at the rewards. Okay, Demon Head. You got what I need. You got that buttery crust. And then flaky. Uh, anyway, Shock Rifle. That's pretty good. And we also got the HP upgrade, of course. Is it possible that the shock rifle is going to become our go-to? 250 ammo? I think it's. I think that's fine because we definitely want to get recharged ammo for the demon head. It was just too strong there. Uh, hello. Greetings. What can I do for you? Who are you? Just a traveling tinker. Got stuck here a while back. Thought I might fix these elevators to kill some time. Fix. They seem to be working. They only go down one floor at a time right now, but with the right equipment, I might be able to configure the, uh, these to traverse multiple floors. I'm taking shortcuts here, tough guy. How do we get them working? I'm not sure yet. It won't be easy, though. Whoever engineered this place was crazy. I'm going to head back to the breach for now. Speak with me there when you get a chance. So probably something that we can do um, with our extra... Excuse me? Is that what? We found a pizza room? Are you seeing this? What's going on down? Is this is this ele this is where man fixes elevator? Okay, that's cool. This seems like some kind of pressure switch or something. I guess this is probably where you'll go to choose how many floors you go down. Anyway, little little spelunky type element there. That's neat. I gotta be honest. If it takes three shots to kill one of these enemies with the zap rifle, the shock rifle, why would I use that over the marine sidearm? Which actually seems to be, like, maybe better in the sense that it has unlimited ammo. Worse in the sense that it will um, shoot a little slower, I think. But considering the shots break regardless when they hit an enemy, uh, I, I sort of don't see why I wouldn't stick with the one that has unlimited ammo, at least for now. Good, 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 good! Okay, no, no problems! I forgot! Flip tables! Right, I got distracted by the fact that we did so well against the boss. I hesitate to say that, you know, some of the bosses are, are too easy, some of the bosses are too hard. Rather, I think it's, you know, probably I got, I got a handle on some of the bosses a little easier than others early on. Gotta see what we can do about King Bullet, man. I gotta be honest, when I took so much damage against King Bullet, I kinda thought maybe Northern Lions lost his touch. Just blind him, man. That, one was, that was dangerous. Get it charged, get it charged, and go to town. We still took too much damage there, that's okay. Should should still kill him quickly. Yo, the demon head is too strong, man. I actually think I want to, like, reprioritize and focus mainly on buying ammo and passive items now. Because if I can keep that demon head stocked, I feel like it's just going to make sure work of, of a lot of bosses. Is that our ticket to beating tank, man? I certainly hope so. But honestly, the marine sidearm seems like... Totally effective at, at least dealing with this floor. The shock rifle is cool because it shoots lightning bolts. Maybe it'll synergize better with some other items that uh, I haven't picked up on this run yet. But but for now, I'm kind of like, you know, the sidearm's doing the job. That's a camera. Say cheese. I'm assuming maybe this stuns enemies when you use it? Still got to figure out what's going on with this room. The altar is empty. Do nothing. Maybe, uh, maybe you can leave guns at the altar and... Get a covenant or something? I don't know. Classic Northern Lion says he loves the teleporters and then forgets to use them. I mean, I tried to shoot there. There we Okay, so it does stun. We can use this gun for this room. I will admit, 
higher rate of fire. And higher rate of fire does seem like a positive. Well, I'm assuming that maybe uh, against the boss, it's going to be... Uh, the camera's going to be nice if it actually stuns. But it also seemed a little finicky to use in the sense that maybe you have to hold the button slightly. That's not really finicky. I mean, it's just like... Uh, oh, fuck. Maybe it actually just does a lot of damage. I have no idea, to be honest with you. Get the demon head ready. I don't want to deal with this shit! Yo, this is too annoying. We lost so much HP there! Well, maybe we have to focus on getting some HP from our shop, sadly. There you go. Get that damage buff, then go wild on this turkey! Not bad. That was a much easier room than I'm used to at this point. Tiny room with angry sarcophagus who asks if you've ever had sex with the Pharaoh. AKA Kanye West. Uh huh. Hey, Magnum Opus Power. He's uh, not my favorite. What do you got for me? A shrine to Shelton. Ammo Elemental. Kneel at the altar. Deal with the devil. The shadows grow darker. Does this show up on, as a passive item? No. I'm assuming this gives us. Because it was an ammo god. I'm assuming it's it's like a pact that gives... Oh my fucking god, what? I'm assuming it's a pact that gives us um, probably greater ammo drops in exchange for harder enemies. So what is it? Is this dude holding some energy crystals, Dr. Wily? What's going on with that thing above his head? I still don't know yet. What is that? Yo. Maybe that means it's a champion enemy. Okay, everything's going off the rails here. At the same time, I have never seen that enemy before. Or I've never seen that attack before. I dodge rolled into a freaking bullet purgatory. Very helpful, thank you. Not feeling great about our HP, but imagine if we can just beat our boss without getting hit. That is a passive item. Table tech sight, flip multiplier. This ancient technology briefly increases gun output whenever a table's flipped. Yo, we're getting some dirty ass table flipping synergy here. There's no reason for me to ever go through that room again. Basically just risk my own chance of, uh... My own chance of, uh... Taking damage there. Risk my own HP. So now when we flip a table, we'll shoot faster... Oh my god. We'll shoot faster and do more damage. We have to buy HP. We do have 93 credits, but unfortunately we have to buy HP. Even more so than the shot grub. If you meet me by Grub's Tavern, I will show you where the treasure's hidden. Honestly, like, people are not going to be thrilled about that fact. That I, um... Here, let's try the demon head again. People are not going to be thrilled about the fact that I, uh... Spent all of my money on HP. It's a very un-Isaac related strategy, or un-Isaac, uh, ideal strategy. But I still feel like it was super valuable for keeping us alive there. Now, I think actually what the uh, what the shrine might have done is just refill our ammo uh, 100% for every gun. Which is fine by me, because our demon head could use it. We do have the ammo drop as well, but that's one time use only, I think. Now this guy's got some champion bullshit head. Okay, we've taken damage. That's alright. I would have thought we'd have a chance, but... I mean, a little bit of damage is not indicative of us not having a chance. Is that what those champion attacks do? They just float in the air with the greatest of ease? I don't know, man. A little dangerous here. We are running out of demon headshots, but this is the only thing we're using them for anyway, is this boss fight. Thank God we bought HP. I could have risked it, but I'm glad we didn't. We'll probably get one back for finishing. And we'll have finished the second floor. Get a new gun. We also got two armor, which is nice. It's a Tommy gun, which actually... What's our uh, credits at now? I think we might have five, which would be enough to actually... Uh, to buy the last item that's in our current incarnation of the shop. Okay, down to the next floor. I feel like the Tommy gun might be a decent active item for us. Not active, but like usual item for us here, if you know what I mean. I'm assuming the damage output's not going to be that incredible. Why are we so... Oh, slow motion? Flip a table, get slow motion? Is that how that works? 
I can see the the principal pro that guy was cute why did I kill what uh, you know what for a minute there I had a brief injection of emotion and then I got hit by an explosion and decided that everything needs to die down here um, so is that what that does slow motion table flipping yes which is actually very helpful in determining whether or not I need to use a uh, I need to use a dodge roll and where to use that dodge roll let's do it this could be the floor for us Ooh, a, is that the Colts? No, that's the Magnum. Uh, I'm assuming that this is going to be high damage, long reload time, low clip size. Well, it actually shoots pretty fast, but damage-wise it seems good too. Killing those birds in two hits is actually really good. What's this guy doing? Yeah, that's, that's scaring me a little. Got a key out of it. These bullets are staying alive. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. These bullets are staying alive, staying alive. <gasps> there goes my armor. Um, I mean, pretty much did that to myself. I can't believe I tried to walk across the upper side of that. That's human nature working against me a little bit. A little poison. Well, it seems like almost everything is dying in like two shots to this thing, so... God, I hate this enemy. If almost everything's dying in two shots, this is a very positive thing for me. Wow, I didn't even... My brain did not recognize that that was a bullet until it was too late. Let's, uh, let's not die. I really don't want to die on the third floor. Not again, anyway. Nice. Get over there. That was a little too close for comfort. I think you always want to err on the side of, uh... Of dodging? <laughs> <laughs> Instead of air on the side of not dodging. Yeah, good one. Take some dumb damage there. Tell this guy to get the fuck away. What? Oh my god. Never do what I did there. That was almost a complete disaster. You know what? If we die here, we'll, we'll knock out another one. Because, to be honest with you, I'm a little embarrassed by my seeming inability. Ooh, I think you probably go demon head for that. Just in case we live. Um... I'm a little embarrassed by my seeming inability to survive here. I think we gotta buy a half heart, but how much is the armor? 35? Yeah, I'll buy a half heart. Protects you from the same amount anyway. Whoo! And then all we gotta do is live to fight the boss, and if we have the greatest run we've ever had, then, you know, the world is our oyster. Just a lot of, like, small ish mechanical misplays have led to my, uh, have led to my downfall on this run right now, but it's not over till it's over. I think this is demon head worthy. This guy's really annoying. Good. I think he just explodes now. Yeah, okay. Go back with the magnum. We are about to run out of ammo, but uh, I think it was a pretty decent item to use here. Oh, we just got some armor back as well. The game just keeps funking with my heart, man. Like, I don't want to remind you guys of the best song of the 2000s, but, uh, it is it's proving fairly difficult here. I'd say that that was a, a good opportunity to use the blind. I'd really like to keep our HP high for the boss fight. I don't trust myself to do well in the HP fight without it. Without HP, I guess. I mean. Did I say do well in the HP fight? I mean do well in the boss fight. Hey, what are you... That minecart does not belong to you. That was a little close. Okay, good shooting. Should have item rooms left on this floor. Every room that we go... Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. I was going to say every room that we go to is a greater chance to take damage as well. Why am I using Marine Sidearm again? Well, I kind of thought, you know, with only 20-something bullets left in this Magnum, we should endeavor to be fine, but uh, didn't quite work out. We got to get these item rooms. I should endeavor to use something else is what I mean to say. I mean, we can use the Tommy gun temporarily. The Thompson submachine gun. Only got one HP. Could get enough money to buy some armor. What is this guy? 
The statue fills you with a sense of foreboding. Ooh, it's gonna be a challenge room. Let's do it. Let's do it. You think I give a shit about anything you guys throw at me? Okay, now we need to use a blank. Next time anything gets close, we gotta use a blank. Don't do that. Do never do that. My god. What was I doing there with the stun? Oh, that's a great question for a great day. Okay. We lived. Holy shit, we lived through the room, even. <gasps> You're one of those games. I see how it is. I see how it is. That, uh, that was quite a surprise. You don't come across a game every day that say, hey, you know what would be awesome? If uh, you fought your heart out to beat this room and barely succeeded and created a great moment for your viewers, and then when you open the chest, it shoots a bullet into you and kills you instantly. I guess we're going to have to start shooting every chest once before we open it. I'm not pleased with that. But I am pleased with that. Because it adds another little wrinkle to our gameplay. For now, thanks for watching. More Gungeon is on the way. If you enjoyed the episode, I've been incredibly thankful for your support so far. I'm glad so many people are loving watching it. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.